So I have an idea, you guys. Let me just go ahead and try out this big boar. Anyway, we could always run away. Ah, 34. Ah, oh. Man, it runs so fast. And good day, everyone. Snack here. And uh, yeah, welcome back to Chef RPG. Uh, right now, as you can see, the restaurant is locked because we are waiting for Preska to completely renovate our uh, restaurant flooring. Because uh, in the previous video, we actually got uh, an opportunity to explore an abandoned bathhouse and it's kind of hunted. And uh, well, that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to. Aside from the restaurant, there's an abandoned uh, bathhouse that we could possibly bring back to life. Isn't that awesome? And on top of that, we are we just did uh, a soft opening from the previous video. And man, it was such a fun day. And yet uh, it was a bit exhausting because, you know, it's our first day to open a restaurant. And people came. A lot of people came. Most of them are our close friends already. And we've received a lot of good feedback. And one of that is to enhance further our restaurant before doing a grand opening and a for, as a first step uh fresca from the town hall has offered us to to uh fix our flooring because like i said we've explored the bathhouse and fresca asked for for us to look for the carpenter's tool at the uh, haunted bathhouse because you no know, she's just too afraid to look at look for it herself so as a reward we get a floor upgrade for Three. And as you can see right now, we're picking up these crunchy asparagus and uh, hack and slashing these uh, mushrooms. Man, there's a lot of them. So now uh, it's a bit of an idle time for us because we're still waiting for the restaurant to be at least the floor to be reno renovated. So now let's just go ahead and gather as much ingredients as we can for the grand opening. Also, I might consider visiting the library as well to learn more recipes, especially that we have learned this uh, skill, bookworm, where we could discover new recipes when reading library books. Oh, look at that. We have uh, two ability points ready. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead with gathering and then cooking. Cooking is always our priority, you guys, because after all, this is a cooking life sim. <laughs> okay, we have those yummy mushrooms and we're gonna I, I also love to hunt these pheasants because this is actually one of our main dish. But be careful because these guys also, they're, although they're little, but they pack a punch. Oh, we've missed this. Uh, one more asparagus right here. Uh, this elk, we could, we could hunt the elk, elk but uh, do I have the... Let me see. Do I have the recipe for the elk? Uh, oh, yeah, we have. Mm, hold on. Maybe we could try out and hunting the elk, right? But I bet it will take a lot of uh, energy for us to hunt it down. Especially that we only have the basic bow and we only have like this at the lower part. We only have like 30% energy. Oh, boy. Okay, we'll just uh, let that let it be. We'll just focus on the easily hunted uh animals like this peasant it only takes three hits for them to uh, go down but they run away faster than any oh look at that i think the boar just attacked us oh nope nope i'm a friend please i'm here i'm here not only to hunt down the peasant not you guys at least for now <laughs> let's cut this bamboo and grab oh sugar cane and um yeah if you notice that every time we forage uh look at the lower part i'll, I'll pick up this uh mint if i do an wait x there you go yep it lowers down the energy so foraging consumes energy here unlike stardew valley so that's why i'm very mindful of our current energy and what did i said earlier uh yeah uh let's just go ahead and uh oh it's like 4 p.m now i'm not sure if the library is open uh i think it's closed maybe we could uh we could uh hunt uh today and then uh by tomorrow we'll we'll see if we could learn more recipes from the library we have one more peasant here oh we've missed that oh that is a very dangerous attack from the peasant one day i'll own my own restaurant too yeah that would be awesome all right and there oops it's flying away again and that should do it ha huh? we have like 17 raw essence meat right now and uh, i think i wanted to pick up more uh water crest which i believe it's in and the ashy swamp right here currently we are in this icon oh what the heck let's just go ahead and uh also just gather these mushrooms oops look at that you guys uh, i'm losing a lot of energy like yesterday i fainted as well because i didn't notice that uh, i was gathering some uh forageables and i just fainted because my energy just went down well we could uh grab a bite in these mushroom uh carrots right here at the lower part but it will only uh add very few uh, energy it's not that optimal so oh yeah it will add like uh, only uh if you see this plus five stamina 
that's the energy so bunnies love this so we're like a bunny well so far it's the it's the most common uh uh forageable that we could get that will that adds uh more stamina it's next to an apple apple only adds three uh stamina chili adds 16 but it deducts your health or health oh uh this strawberry adds six stamina though but they are not that abundant oh well look at this we also have the asparagus night nice. almost the same with a carrot so let's do that okay uh I w let's just go ahead and consume all these common uh vegetables there should be no harm at consuming them because there is just readily available in the wild all right so it's night time I, I don't i cannot figure out yet uh where to hang out after night or at night uh well let's see here first okay let's do the leo's uh task it's just a delivery task which is uh, really easy so like i said i don't know uh where to hang it uh, hang out uh, after the sun goes down. Oh, maybe here at Bayes Bar. Yep, people are here. What's up? Hope those. What? I've been around a lot of shrimp. I gotta say, they are feisty little guys. All right. Hello, Bea. All right. It's now 8 p.m. And, uh, well, go ahead and har- Oh, no, no. I don't want to harvest more because I don't want to faint again. Uh, we'll just uh, spend uh, the last few hours of our day hanging out uh, beside the feet it would be great if we could take a good walk after that hard work you crabs are so lucky i don't have that much energy left so you know you go ahead and be free multiply and then i'm gonna go ahead and harvest you down <laughs> oh actually i want to go somewhere else it seems to be a nice beach to hang out and wind and yeah uh, i want to visit the place where we could uh mine uh I, well it's not this place though and it's uh getting dark oh wait oh well uh we're gonna uh see if we have time for that tomorrow let's just get some good rest so we could wake up early tomorrow and uh can't wait because tomorrow's gonna be the day that our restaurant's flooring renovation is gonna be finished so can't wait to see how it would look like okay we are now day 13 spring year one good morning everyone let me just take a quick bath and uh seems our storage is uh empty okay the floor should now be fixed meet friska back in lisikoya awesome all right and then we also have this oh we need to also uh deliver a parcel to the train station post office for Hileo. i wonder what's upstairs let's see oh more floors too many rooms but uh we couldn't go in okay let's go further upstairs and this is it all right oh looks like we have a cutscene right here oh they are definitely finished you guys i'm so excited to see this what how come friska is always mad look at this <laughs> take it easy girl anyway the floors are all fixed up go in and see for yourself <laughs> come see me in the town hall if you want to do any other renovation absolutely we can even expand your restaurant but it won't be cheap you should wait for when lisikoya is filled to the brim with customers and you need more space all right that was that makes sense oh and i had some extra cooking appliances lying around just don't tell uh gavin i gave them to you <laughs> sure i think i speak for the town when i say we are very excited for lisi koya's grand opening good luck you should smile a bit <laughs> all right that's cool oh i see we could get to choose a uh, new uh, appliances right uh we have here an ice cream maker as the name implies we have a blender this will let us make a variety of beverages and then we have a popular fryer used in fast food restaurant no we are not a fast food restaurant but this would be nice to have for some snack uh what i need is some uh beverage because we already have an appetizer main dish and we don't have a uh, beverage yet so we'll go ahead with a blender let's do this awesome all right so time to check out our uh restaurant's flooring wow look at that you guys this is totally what i envisioned uh let's see if uh the table that we've chosen to go ahead with was perfect yep look at that i i i went to the retro type of table because i wanted a restaurant to have a ret uh, retro theme how come this is red oh how come it's colored red can i do it like this okay there you go it's fixed now <laughs> all right looking good looking good you guys so that means uh we have we need to buy more tables or chairs four more chairs you guys right uh, i mean three and let's go ahead and just uh do some inventory I'm gonna go straight in our fridge all right how come it's still red uh let's see we'll, we'll go out from uh from the restaurant and we'll uh go back in let's see now it's fixed all right that's some sort of a bug right so let's see um we have an appetizer a dessert a beverage we should have a beverage now uh yep we do have a blender oh 
yeah that reminds me we need to place this blender somewhere else uh maybe here oh it doesn't look it looks so weird let's place it maybe somewhere i don't need this table yet okay we'll just put this blender here in between or uh just near the fridge oh there's two blenders oh wow do i need two of them now i am not sure uh we'll just place this bl one blender just in case right okay we have two blenders all right now we've done setting up but uh let's go ahead and uh up the layer with the uh, package okay this one is cool i i we need to hunt down brown elk i think it's time for us to upgrade our <laughs> mini right from a pheasant to uh an elk meat hopefully we'll survive because elks are just too sturdy and they run fast they could easily catch up on you and hey the layer you need something right all right awesome let's go let's deliver this uh great walk and i know where exactly where we're going for this and it uh, looks like we are here let's just drop this box ha <laughs> that's a piece of cake right that's the easiest task so far. Just fetch and deliver. And we have these nice uh, peasants that we could hunt. Meat's gonna be very tasty. Survive. There you go. Aha. Oh, we could pick up stuff here. I should ask Mei Lu if I could harvest. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Mei Lu's farm place. And look at that, you guys. The house, again, looks like the one from the from the Lord of the Ring, the Shire, which is so cool. I love it so much. Looks like this is a cozy place we have here. There's a lot of uh, things going on, the plants and someone's cooking. And looks like, let's say hi to grandma and grandpa. If I were younger, I'd still be helping it out, out on the farm. This one here is going at the basement. Oh, grandpa's at the washroom. Let's not, let's not disturb him. Okay, seems like a nice place. Oh, we could open the door. All right. Anna May, you're new, right? I know most of the people in White Ash Harbor. So you stick out like a rotten. Uh, yep, yep. I'm a rotted potato. Sure, I could use myself as a fertilizer for plants to grow beautifully as a rotted potato. Uh -huh. If that's the case, then I'll, I I would take the role as a rotted potato. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, matter that much for me. And let's go ahead and hunt this uh, one more person. It's going out. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. We got that right. Just grab these uh, meat, raw pheasant meat. And uh, we are so lucky we got an egg and a few carrots here all right that is it you guys where we have a lot of crops right here um what was i supposed to do again <laughs> okay uh, uh we need to hunt uh, two brown elk okay let's go ahead and uh work in that right away okay um we'll, we'll see i think the the cave that i was uh, uh talking about is here the cave where, where we could uh mine some ores if i'm not mistaken oh it should be here this one this is the cave which we couldn't access yet and hey hold on i think we could also use this uh this uh wood 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 staff we could use this one yep we could okay oh we could uh, do a power strike but if we do this boom aha we'll just go ahead and beat the the, the crap out of this <laughs> crab okay uh it seems it worked but uh for now let's just go ahead and hunt some elk and uh along the way just harvest these uh, mushrooms oh boy i'm so distracted <laughs> and uh look at that we only have like 60 percent of energy left left by the time we reach the elk we no longer have that much energy <laughs> all right uh the those majestic animals should be here somewhere here so we have like wild carrots right here and some uh mushroom but it's not that's not what we're here for oh this this is the reason why we're here for you guys they look so huge i'm not sure if we could take one down because they're so big oopsie ah all right i think we're doing a great job ah okay we need to have more space looks like he is running away now there you go and i think it's gonna be a hit nope this one nope i don't want to oh what is this boar it's so big it's a huge boar and i don't want to get oh boy the boar just attacked us oh boy okay i just need the, the elk to hunt the elk that's it i think that's a boss boar <laughs> and we have like tons of uh elk rib 12 of it oh man this boar is so huge i'm afraid to you know I, I am afraid to hunt this down because it's too huge and it runs so fast. Look at that. I think he's the boss of this area. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hunt one more elk. That's what we need to do for the task to be completed. And on top of that, uh, get some elk uh, meat. I'm pretty sure the people in White Ash Harbor is going to love it. And one more hit. This one should do it. Nope. It, oh, wait, hold on. I didn't see you. I almost hit you accidentally you big boar and this should do it nope that should do it nope that should do it all right <laughs> okay so i have an idea you guys let me just go ahead and try out this big boar anyway we could always run away ah 34 ah oh man it runs so fast okay i think we could get the, get uh put this guy down it's slowing down really not charging that much yeah i think we could get rid of this big guy here ah ah i think we uh, 
We can five more hits for this guy to go down. And you are going down, I think. Yep, run away. There you go. Nope, there you go. One last hit, I think. Yep. Oh, uh, looks like Mama Bear is running away as fast as she could. There you go. Oh, nope, I thought I hit that. Oh my, our energy is almost gone. I haven't noticed. We could have fainted again. Okay, there you go. Oh, one more hit. One more hit, you guys. One more hit. There you go. <laughs> Defeat the elite level animal. Wow. So that, if you look at the lower, if you have looked at the lower right hand corner, I got an achievement. It says elite level animal. So those things are bigger than a usual animal. As you've noticed, it looks like a mini boss. So, uh, well, that was fun, you guys. Uh, we've already lost a lot of energy from that, but it was a good hunt. We got like 23 elk rib and 16 boar meat. I hope oh, I can't wait what kind of dish we could uh you we could uh get from these uh fresh meat. Uh although I don't have the recipe for the boar yet. We do have the elk steak. I'm excited to prepare that for our people in White Ash Harbor. Uh maybe next time we'll go ahead and visit the uh, library so we could learn more uh, recipes, possibly. Oh well. So I'm wondering uh when are we gonna do a grand opening? All right, listen, you guys, let's go ahead and check out uh our inventory in our restaurant so we have now two blenders we have five tables and our floor has been renovated and we have here eloise our um server she's doing a wonderful job and look at this you guys we have tons of uh ingredients and raw meat that we could uh use for our uh dishes and i think we are a step away from celebrating a grand opening i wonder what could that be should be a few days from now and i'm trying to make sure that also along the way while preparing for a restaurant to have a grand opening also uh establish a good uh relationship with the town folks in white ash harbor and also that's one of the reason why we're doing some uh, uh errands for our uh friends and good thing right now we just finished the task from teleo deliver the parcel to the train station and uh also uh leon's request we've hunted two brown elk we have here uh leon i think at uh, this side oh no neither okay uh the map was saying that he's here uh he could be uh in in his apartment uh brada what's this place brada could be he is in a uh, bb apartment oh here he is hey leon i just got the, the task done for you all right let's see what we could get you guys this is so exciting oh we got like plant roots oh well better than nothing i will remember that well anytime my friend anytime you do have a wonderful night ahead all right now uh let's see the leo he is right here let's see hopefully he's not yet in his room otherwise we're gonna have to wait tomorrow yep he is just right here uh could be uh well it's open oh the leo is just right here you guys all right let's see what Kaleo has for us. Oh man, this is so good. A wild tomato. Yum yum. Thank you so much. Thanks. I will remember that. Looks like we've uh we've got a skill point. Nice. And also an ability point. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh I want uh um a social. Yep, let's go social. It seems that the hunting part is not that uh hard as long as you know how to kite while using the bow. Okay, uh this one seems nice. Forest citizen. A forest citizen is a requirement to upgrade to farming you can now use greenhouses to grow and harvest your own ingredients wow this is so exciting you guys the greenhouse must be unlocked to learn this skill wow that's cool okay uh this one also a uh, secret admirer uh you can receive gifts from your friends gifts will appear in the mailbox this is also cool uh thick skin i'm not sure if uh we need this for now i don't have any problem hunting even the elite animal yet salesman um we have uh money uh maybe later we'll get that all right uh, we'll go ahead with this you guys especially that i've noticed uh, uh white ash harbor has an abundance of forageables and uh, they're not even that far from the main city so uh should be able to fully take advantage of that perk or ability or skill i think it's a skill because it says skill point okay looks like we've done a wonderful job for today you guys for more videos you can look at the lower part of the screen thanks again for hanging out it really means a lot to me and if you're new feel free to like and subscribe and uh maybe always walk with patience and kindness because that's what love is see you on the next chef rpg video